After seeing several inches of snow over the weekend, we're gearing up now, as you heard from Joe here, a major warm-up. And Storm Team 8 meteorologist Sam Cantro tells us if this is normal for Connecticut winter. No, it's not a joke. Parts of Connecticut could actually see temperatures near 70 degrees on Wednesday. And if you think that it's weird that that's happening in February, you're 100% right. Shorts weather in winter? It is a real possibility coming up. Our record high temperature for inland Connecticut is 63 degrees on Wednesday. We're forecasting a high temperature near 70. So that's one record that will definitely be broken. But please don't assume that winter is now finished. In the last 10 years, there has only been one time that we haven't gotten measurable snow during the month of March. That was in 2012, where the last snow was on February 24th. That's for the shoreline. Inland typically sees snow even later. Now, unfortunately, we have recently seen snow in April four out of the last seven years, including almost six inches of snow in parts of Connecticut on April 4th. Now, if you think the 4th is bad, we saw snow on April 16th in 2014. And while it wasn't much, it was enough to cause a bunch of accidents around the state. And unfortunately, I've got some more not so great news. Our forecast models have been doing a pretty good job at being able to predict two, three, or four weeks into the future. And from what we're looking at, the month of March will likely feature some pretty cold temperatures and plenty more opportunity to make a bunch more of these. In New Haven, I'm meteorologist Sam Cantro, News 8.